people have not seen the film they've only seen the first look they've only seen little bit of things that we put out there and they have started it before they even know what the film is that's when i kind of realized maine ka oh this is the world we live in like um mauka bhi nahi dete yaar log i've never been pregnant i don't know what it is to be a mother i don't know what it is to burn a life i have have fire all over my body i don't know what it is to uh, give birth in stress to a child just just lying there on a the floor so these were unreal emotions mm. which were suddenly put on me and i have come from like light hearted comedy films to suddenly this depth of i mean darkness and an emotion and i'm like how am i going to do this there's not a single kissing scene there is not a single sexual uh, even reference mm. as a joke there's not even a single I don't know uh, abuse or nothing. Hello everyone, welcome to E Times. I am Rachit Gupta, and today joining us for a conversation is Nushrat Barucha. We're going to be talking about her new film, Jan Hit Me Jari. Bold conversations, some really bold statements in the trailer itself. Nushrat, I've seen the trailer of your film. Uh, there are some really bold statements in it, and you know your your character is quite feisty. She's fiercely independent. what i really want to know right now is you know every artist when when a new project comes to them when a new script comes to them their first reaction is always the most honest one so jab janhit ka script aapke paas aaya tha what was that first honest reaction that you gave ek to mere paas script nahi aaya tha okay uh mujhe raj sir ne sirf ek one liner of a story batayi thi ki ye kahani hai aur mujhe ek idea bataya tha पूरी hmm. कहानी का आग ग्राफ कहाँ से कहाँ लड़की जाती है क्या होता है ये सब भी नहीं बताया था ही जस्ट गेव मी अ वन लाइनर एंड आई जस्ट लुक एट हिम एंड माय फर्स्ट रिएक्शन टू हिम ऑनेस्ट टू गॉड वाज डोंट यू डेयर कास्ट एनी बडी एल्स दिस प्लेस मैं दोस्ती तोड़ दूंगी आपसे जन्मों तक आई से राज यू हैव टू प्रोमिस मी दैट दिस फिल्म वेन यू मेक You will make it with me नो मैटर वॉट इज देर हुज देर इन फ्रंट हुज टेलिंग यू कास्ट विच अदर एक्ट्रेस यू गोट कास्ट मी so he promised me this in 2019 when we were promoting dream girl hmm. and uh, it's happened actually happened but that was my honest reaction that i couldn't see anybody else do this film and i and i couldn't let anybody else um say uh, what i'm saying essay the part i'm saying and kind of shoulder it or kind of stand for it or kind of support it uh, because i i was like this has to be me i it just has to, it has to be my film right uh, so yeah right you know um it's i mean i'm not saying it's it's a bold bold film but it makes certain very bold statements especially from a yeah, woman actually wanna, i want to i want to i want to stay away from calling it bold because you know bold ka bhi matlab rachit yahan kuch aur hi bana dete hain log yeah i know um, I and mai na jitna isko aur hum bold bol rahe na i feel like hum khud hi usko thoda taboo se associate karte yes. rehte hain yes um uh, i think maybe we should i would like to call it brave Yes. Like it's a brave attempt on on all our parts to mm. think of a film, to cast for this film, to essay this film, to act in it, and now finally to release it. Yeah. So yeah, brave for sure. Yeah. So I'm I completely agree. So employing the word brave over here, you yourself said you know there is a certain taboo subject over here. You know, Lokbag, especially in India, uh, especially the conservative side of our population. when you i mean even if you bring up the word condom they'll get you know people will get flustered and i'm not just talking about women even men more so probably so when you're attempting something like this uh, nushrat do you do you have to sort of think about it do you have to say ki oh you know i'm taking a creative risk over here there's a chance i might get trolled do these thoughts come to your mind i have witnessed other people uh, get trolled i have seen what comments can happen to other people i've been part of that I don't know somewhere. It's not like it's new to me. I knew this exists and this happens. I don't know why I didn't think it would happen to us on this film. Because हम जो picture shoot कर रहे थे और हमने जो कहानी सुनी और हम जो कह रहे उसमें हमें कहीं भी कुछ नहीं लगा. There's not a single kissing scene. There's not a single sexual uh, even reference hmm. as a joke. There's not even a single I don't know uh, abuse or nothing. Mm-hmm. like there's nothing in the film it's it's such a clean film that somehow we didn't i didn't think that this would happen to me mm-hmm. or us on the film 
but people have not seen the film they've only seen the first look they've only seen a little bit of things that we put out there and they have started it before they even know what the film is that's when i kind of realized maine ka oh this is the world we live in like um mauka bhi nahi dete yaar log ke shayad ye kuch aur bol rahe hain ya ye kuch maybe there's something else to it this is not this is not the end of it True. but uh, aa gaye bhai <laughs> comments opinions judgments biases sab aa gaye right to theek hai ab ye aa gaye to aa gaye kya kare right now I mean, that's part and parcel of being in the public eye i guess i mean true yeah 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 so nushad going to your career this is something that you know i mean i didn't interview you for chori but tab bhi mere paas ye sawal tha aapke liye that you know after a long mm-hmm. career you're finally sort of your your shouldering films you know you you're the solo person films are being sold on your shoulders has that put a personal expectation on you has that put a responsibility on you and how have you reacted to this not yet i think rashid um i have not uh, i think once i start taking pressures of things that are really not in my hands uh really not in my control mm-hmm. unless i write direct produce and release my own film it's not my it's not my baby at all I'm a small part of a larger machinery, and all parts of those machinery of that machinery have to work with with like utmost efficiency and in sync with each other. And I I have actually been a part of that school of thought or or a team like my whole Pyarka Panchnama team. The makers have taught me in a certain way. Um, they've made us a part of a larger film, where I have always believed this um, that if a film su- succeeds and it becomes a success. then it's everybody's success hmm. and if a film flops then it's everybody's loss hmm. i don't think if a film flops i can say oh meri karan flop nahi hui wo director ne banaya oh meri karan flop nahi wo producer ne wo kiya i can't say that i've never said that i never will similarly when a film becomes a hit i cannot go and say it's my solo success it can't be that rachit i don't come from that school of thought i've been taught differently hmm. um if a film is successful it's very much the writer directors makers presenters cinematographers um every art directors choreographers it's their film equally because they've put in their own visuals they've put in their own creativity into making the film full varna main to phone ke camera pe record karke acting dekh sakti hu uske piche ka aage piche ka kaun karta hai i don't do that it's not my department right right so uh, so because i don't i don't believe that and i don't think from that that point of view i don't think i'll ever have the till now i don't have the stress ke oh it's an added pressure or or my film has to perform or, or people are expecting this out of me men are yaar as actors or or just normal human beings in the country or living in this world there's so much stress hmm. there's so many problems there are so many things i am on a daily basis handling by myself solo i can't add to that stress and pressure yaar yeah? matlab i'll be a fool people are uh, wanting to get stress free and be calmer and more relaxed i can't go out there and add that to me i can't i go to set i do my job i believe in the team and i let i let audiences and the team take over after that so okay. no added pressure okay <laughs> so a bit of a related question but thoda sa different you've seen a lot of success of late how has this success changed you not just as a creative person but as as an inherent person per se oh wow i don't know if the success has changed me because rachit uh, i don't think i've ever said this line to myself in my head that i am a success okay i don't think i've ever said it um chori released a lot of people gave me a lot of feedback i just felt happy as an actor that i attempted to do something which is so far uh, like pulled out from my reality i have never been pregnant i don't know what it is to be a mother i don't know what it is to burn alive i have have fire all over my body i don't know what it is to uh, give birth in stress to a child just just lying there on a the floor so these were unreal emotions hmm. which were suddenly put on me and i have come from like light hearted comedy films to suddenly this depth of i mean darkness and an emotion and i'm like how am i going to do this all the reactions and the reviews and everybody who said what they said after watching ajeeb or a chori for me has just been rewarding from the point of view yaar yeah, really, how nice uh, chalo maine sahi kiya hmm. chalo main kar payi i was convincing enough for people to feel that emotion I, people didn't say are ye to lag hi nahi rahi hai ki pregnant hai lag hi nahi rahi hai ki actually us emotion se guzar rahi hai 
I think my honesty and genuinity as an actor is all I look for and all I want sort of feedback and, and validation of. Um, so I don't think I've ever said, oh, Chori is successful, hai. Ab main successful. Hmm. Kabhi nahi hua yaar. Mere mind mein nahi jata ye sab. Pata nahi kaise. Hmm. Um, to, and Chori came on OTT. I don't think ever once have I asked my producer, ki, sir, aapne OTT kyun le li? Theater mein kyun nahi go? Hmm. Me, like I said, my thing is my producer should make the money. Abhi OTT se agar unko paise ki recovery ho gai, to very good. OTT pe release karo. Kaam to log dekhenge na. पिक्चर तो आ रही है ना बाहर डब्बे में बंद तो नहीं है देर एक्टर्स इनकी फिल्म डब्बे में बंद होती है सालों तक दे डोंट सी द लाइट ऑफ डे सो आई एम वेरी लकी रिलीज तो हो रही है तो बस आई थिंक मैं आती हूं वेरी बेसिक थॉट से तो ये क्वेश्चन का आंसर मैं कैसे ही दूं आई डोंट नो हाउ इट्स चेंज्ड मी एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ थिंग्स हैज हैज चेंज्ड मी आई कैन टेल यू दैट आई आई फील लाइक आई नो माय क्राफ्ट स्लाइटली मोर Okay. I think I'm I'm I've become smarter with every film and role that I do. By mm. smarter, I mean I get what what the DP is saying to me. Mm. I get what the art person is saying to me. Okay, ma'am, isko yahan rakho, aise karo. I get what my ADs are technically saying to me, or my directors saying to me. Pick up, lete hain, yahan se lete hain, wahan se lenge. Yahan ka close cutega, yahan ka wide hai, yahan ka ye. So, ab na wo puri process of film making mere dimag mein better uh, work kar rahi hai. Yes, mm. and and I and this is also very important. This is very difficult to understand this, but you can be a raw natural talent and actor. But over time, if you don't become a technically sound actor, na, yeah. it's very difficult. It's very difficult. You can't expect everybody around to constantly keep telling you things. You should just know them when you walk onto a set. Mm. I think that knowledge has made me a more technically sound actor over the years. Mm. The learning, yeah. That's a damn good answer, I must say. Dub, uh, when I was watching the trailer. something that really reached out to me and hit me was how supportive your character's parents are you know especially that final line when vijaya says are tum kuch bolte ki nahi is like maine do chai boli thi abhi tak aayi nahi so <laughs> so it is it's like you know having supportive parents is such a huge thing for anyone you know so like going back you know were you able to relate with your own parents that you know how they've supported your journey were there any parallels between your characters you know family dynamics and your own in real life No, I think Manu Kamna's character is very much, um, I think, a learning curve and process of what my life has been. So when Manu Kamna's parents first find out that she works in a condo company, they are not supportive in the beginning. Okay. They lose their shit. There's a whole drama happening in the house. Hmm. Mother is throwing things and going mental and crying and throwing her hands and saying, "Hi, what happened?" Type. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" So when that scene happened, um, what I like about this character is she didn't fight. Hmm. She didn't. A back answer. She didn't insult. She didn't belittle her parents or their uh, prejudices or or their conditioning or their salo ki pratha jo chalti aari ho follow karte aare. She didn't do any of that. She pyar se tried to argue back and hmm. say for for the sake of a reasoning argument, hmm. not an argument. Okay, let's talk and let's reason it out. Okay, आपकी दिक्कत क्या है? मैं अपना पॉइंट बताती हूँ आप मेरा पॉइंट भी तो सुनो उसके बाद भी अगर दिक्कत है तो देखते हैं आई लाइक दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन शी हैड इट एंड शी टोल्ड हर मदर कौन है ये रिलेटिव्स किसकी नजर से बच रहे हैं किसकी ओपिनियन हम लेके मैटर कर रहे हैं तो वो जो लड़की माँ को बोलती है और माँ लिटरली थोड़े टाइम में समझ जाती है कि हाँ यार मेरी बेटी गलत तो बोल नहीं रही है सही तो है इसमें क्या गलत है तो जस्ट हैविंग अ ओपन ऑनेस्ट कॉन्वर्सेशन एट होम um changed her parents and brought her parents to her side where they supported her in the in-laws house right. you see what a large support system that is hmm. um that for me is manuka hmm. even after she gets married you know rachit she doesn't she doesn't break the family she doesn't let the husband get insulted she doesn't uh, insult the father in law she doesn't call out patriarchy she toes the line of a correct bahu behavior ki ye mujhe ghar se sikhaya gaya hai ki main is ghar ki izzat hu main is ghar ko saath leke chalungi मैं कोई डिवोर्स तोड़म ताड़ी चिल्लम चिक्की नहीं करने वाली एंड दैट्स वाज वेरी वेरी दैट्स स्ट्रॉंग आई थिंक राइट राइट वन फाइनल क्वेश्चन नुशरत यू हैव अ आई मीन यू सीम टू हैव अ ग्रेट क्रिएटिव पार्टनरशिप विद राज शांडलिया नाउ सो आई मीन ड्रीम गर्ल वाज आल्सो सच अ हटके फिल्म इट हैड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट अगेन सिमिलर सॉर्ट ऑफ पैटर्न्स कमिंग इन जनहित सो व्हाट इज इट अबाउट हिज क्रिएटिव विजंस हिज स्टोरी टेलिंग दैट यू नो दैट दैट यू लाइक द मोस्ट एंड एंड प्लीज डिस्क्राइब योर क्रिएटिव पार्टनरशिप एज़ वेल So you know when um, Dream Girl was being cast, I got a call from a casting director saying, "This is the film production house. Ayush is doing it." 
and the director wants to give you a narration. मैंने कहा okay who's the director? So they said this is new guy and he's done da 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 and and I'm like okay sure. ऐसे चलो narration सुनते हैं. Um, in the same breath, um, so no so I went to meet the director. Okay, कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर बोला meeting करते narration. I went to meet them. I'm sitting in Balaji office. We're doing a narration and he first few things he says to me was uh, uh mujhe aap bahut pasand hai as an actor and mere liye aap first choice ho meri is film ke liye maine pehle hi bola tha jab casting ki baat aati hai ki aur ladki kaun hogi maine kaha nushad bharucha se baat karo agar wo na bolti hai to main kisi aur ke paas jata hu but uske pehle tak main kisi aur se milna bhi nahi chahta kisi aur ko ka naam bhi mujhe nahi sunta I had only done SKTKS, which had become a hit. Of course, Pyar ka Panchnamas, but I had not done some other kind of breakthrough performance of films or any of that for a director to sit there, even though he's a new director, and have that much faith that he only wants to work with me. So I was sitting there and I was like, "Yar, ye kitni pyari baat hai. How sweet!" I said, "Sir, I'm I'm very touched that you uh, sirf mere saath kam karna chahte ho. मतलब ये बहुत कम होता है यार. बहुत कम लोग ये emotion से आते हैं. And वो एक घंटे के narration में मैं इतना हंसी." that i don't even think i waited to go home in that same meeting i said sir ye picture kar rahi hai aap meri taraf se ha ek to itni funny hai upar se aapne itne pyar se bola ki aapko mere sath hi kaam karna hai to mera to isi baat pe aapne dil jeet liya chalo picture karte hain to maine us page pe kiya yaar achit picture i honestly us film pe itne maze kiye itne maze kiya jab bhi raat sir ke paas jao na ki sir ye scene hai ye karna hai main kaise karu kya karu he just look at me say nush have fun just have fun enjoy kar chill karo मतलब मस्त मौला इंसान है 